The September yearling sale is just wrapped up here at Keeneland, and once again it proved to be one of the world's most important thoroughbred auctions. Not just for the buyers who are looking for that champion racehorse, but most assuredly for Central Kentucky consigners who make their living breeding, raising, and selling the best horses in the world. And in particular, there's one band of brothers tailor-made for success. The leading consigner at the last 10 Keeneland sales of yearlings and breeding stock has been tailor-made. I need 3,001 to A3, please. Since Duncan Taylor founded the company while still in college in 1976, Taylor Made has sold more than a billion dollars worth of horses. It's not doing one thing that's greater than, than, than the people that are your competition. It's every little thing. If you can just be a little bit better at a lot of different things, it'll add up in the end. Duncan and his three younger brothers who helped run the company learned many valuable lessons from their late father Joe, a former Gainesway farm manager. The, the main thing is he just taught us a, a, a really strong work ethic and getting along working together. That, that, that's been the key, I think. Sometimes you have to give and take. When you grow up and you have seven other siblings, you learn to get along pretty well. We don't get on each other's uh, toes because there, there's so much to do and we, we're spread out so much. Frank used to drive from farm to farm, unannounced, trying to get people to do business with them. And when one potential client said he was too busy for a meeting... I just grabbed a pitchfork and started cleaning the stalls and didn't even say anything to him. Cleaned about ten there and I and got to the end of the barn and I said, well, that saved you some time. You're ready to meet. We've been doing business for 25 years since then. You can get anything in life you want if you help enough other people get what they want. Especially if you do that while stressing honesty and integrity as Duncan has always insisted on. You realize, you know, through life and as time goes on that the closer you stick to God's Ten Commandments, probably the better off you're going to do. His brothers see Duncan as an innovator, always looking for ways to do even better. He comes up with some uh, uh, wild ideas and tries to institute them, but a lot of them work. He's very um, focused on what can we do better. Other people see that and they're not afraid to, to offer ideas and that leads to a better product. Ben Taylor, vice president of Stallions, calmly considers all of Duncan's ideas before offering his opinion. Ben's a thinker and he's very analytical. He's responsible for uh, a lot of our success, but he doesn't get a lot of the credit. Mark, the youngest of the brothers and now vice president of public sales, considered a career as a trainer before joining the family business. And that temporary detour has served him well. Any young people I would advise to try to Try to touch as many facets of the business and learn, and try to learn from the best people you can. I think, and I think Mark did that. He's well versed, can speak well to people. Great communicator, great writer. Their competitors, meanwhile, try to convince folks that Taylor Made has grown too big. We've done things to try to make it feel smaller. You'll see Taylors when we're walking around this consignment. We'll be picking up trash. We'll be, we'll be doing the little things. And I think there's advantages uh, in being big too, because you know more of the market. You touch more of the buyers. You have a better feel for things. 